craving a bite of course you are welcome to oracle cloud erp channel in this video i'm not here to sell you any ice cream instead i will show you how to set up general ledger from scratch for an ice cream company in oracle fusion cloud this means you are going to virtually create arun ice creams corporation with multiple companies under it business units departments ice cream shops ice cream products and all of the required setups to create your first journal for our new ice cream company in a few minutes i will go in detail about each element that you see in this picture to explain the financial structure of our ice cream company if you are not familiar with the general ledger i highly recommend watching my previous video linked below in that video i explained the general ledger in simple terms by comparing it to our personal expense tracker For now let me give you a quick overview of the setup process. We will start by assigning the required roles to our profile and going through the setup task list. Next we will download the rapid implementation spreadsheet and populate it with our company setup data to speed up the setup process. After that we will load this data into the Oracle Fusion application then we will grant data access to our newly created ledger And finally we will open our first GL period to create our first journal. I will show everything in less than 15 minutes. If you are ready, let's get cracking. To set up the general ledger for our ice cream company in the Oracle Fusion application, you will need a couple of roles. One of them is application implementation consultant role and the other one is IT security manager. Let's go ahead and add those roles now. In order to add those roles, I will click on navigator, then on tools, then I will select security console. I will click on users tab, search for my user profile, click on display name. I will click edit and add the two required roles since now we got our required roles we can get started with our implementation to simplify our setup let's use out of box feature manage implementation projects you can think implementation project as your own personalized setup assistant In order to create a new project for our implementation, I will click on Settings and Action menu, then on Setup and Maintenance. After that, I will click on Tasks, and then select Manage Implementation Projects. I will create a new project for our implementation. I can update the default name populated. After entering the name, if I tab out, the code will be auto defaulted. Description is auto populated. Then I will select the option save and open project. Now I will click on select and add option. From the search drop down I will select task list. Now I will search for a delivered task list called define financial and then click on search button. Then I will choose the option define financials configuration for rapid implementation. Select it and click on apply button. I will click done. If I expand the task list you can see all the tasks in the sequential order for defining financials configuration in the Oracle Fusion application. We are starting with the first task list which involves defining common financials configurations. If I expand the folder you will see the list of tasks that we need to perform to set up our financials environment. In this video we will tackle the first four setup tasks which will get our general ledger module up and running good news is oracle has already taken care of the first one setting up geographies now let's jump right into the second task creating chart of accounts and financial structures for our ice cream company to complete the second task you need to click on go to task link which is a right arrow i will click on the right arrow in the back end a file would have been downloaded to your computer I will open the file that was downloaded. Here is the file that was downloaded. I will open it. Here is the file that was downloaded. If you notice any error message something like this, 
make sure wherever you place this implementation spreadsheet is under a trusted location. If it is not inside a trusted folder, you can add your folder to a trusted location by clicking this link. What I have downloaded is a blank rapid implementation spreadsheet. All my tabs are empty. Before I walk you through the completed implementation spreadsheet, let's review the financial structure of our Arun Ice Creams enterprise. First, we have Arun Ice Creams Corporation, which oversees our legal entities. You might question, what are these legal entities? In order for your company to conduct business in any country, first you need to register with local government. That is nothing but legal entity. In our case, we have two companies, Arun Ice Creams Classics, registered with California State. And our second company is Arun Ice Creams Innovations, registered with Virginia State. Each of our legal entities are mapped to business units, which are Oracle's internal entities or identifiers. They grant us access to different products, functionalities, and out-of-box reports in Oracle Fusion application. Then we have individual departments who process transactions on behalf of our legal entities or companies. These departments could be Accounts Payable Department, Accounts Receivable Department, HR, you name it. Finally, these departments track individual transactions across different segments such as individual ice cream shops and products for internal and external reporting purposes. Since now you got some idea about the financial structure of our company, let me walk you through the rapid implementation spreadsheet that I have filled. This is my rapid implementation spreadsheet. In the first tab, you have instructions. Go through the instructions. They are very helpful. I'll move on to the second tab. In this sheet, you will enter the attributes associated with our company's primary ledger. Think of the primary ledger as a book that records all your company's transactions. Here I gave a name to my primary ledger, my ledger currency. Here I have provided the frequency of my accounting period within my financial year. How many adjusting periods to be created? When does your fiscal year starts? Now let's talk about chart of accounts. Arun Ice Creams Management decided to capture transactions across these segments. Company as primary balancing segment, then they want to capture transactions for individual ice cream shops, different departments, different products. Then we have natural account segment, intercompany. As you know, we have two companies within our enterprise if they want to do transactions between them. The last two segments are placeholders in case company wants to expand in the future and want to add additional segments. Let's move on to the next tab. This is where you configure names of your business units and legal entities and the relation to them is one to one as we saw before. Let's move on to the next tab. Here you provide the information about the companies that you registered. Also keep in mind companies one of our segments in our accounting structure. All these are our segments. Company is one of them. All the data related to any segment can be populated in parent child hierarchy. As you can see for both of this company this is the parent. This is very helpful for consolidation and reporting purposes. Likewise, I have configured the rest of the segments in parent-child hierarchy. Here I have my natural account segment. Likewise, I filled in shop segment values, departments, products, intercompany, future one and future two. After we have completed the rapid implementation spreadsheet, the next step is to validate the data we have entered by clicking on step 1 validate button. In my case, there is an error indicating that the length of one of the values defined for the shop segment exceeds the maximum length. I will quickly navigate to chart of accounts tab to show you how much length we set for shop chart field segment. Clearly, we have set the width of this segment to 5 characters. Now let's correct the length of the shop segment value causing the error to ensure it is exactly 5 characters. Now the segment value is corrected. I will navigate back to chart of accounts and click on validate again. As you can see this time validation is successful and no errors were found. We can also preview some sample reports based on data we have entered in our spreadsheet. In order to view the reports I click on S 
and this is a sample financial report created based on the data we have entered. To load our spreadsheet data into Oracle Fusion application, first I will navigate to Chart of Accounts tab. Then I will click on Generate Chart of Accounts file. Then I will place the Chart of Accounts zip file in my custom folder. Now let's continue to step number three. I will click on Generate General Ledger Legal Entity file and save it in my custom folder. I am back to our implementation project. So far we have completed task number two. Let's continue to task number three, which is to upload chart of accounts. I will select the task. Then I will navigate to the task. Then I will choose a file and select the chart of accounts zip file that I saved before. We will have to use the default parameter. Now I will go ahead and submit the process. I have already submitted this process a few seconds back, so I'm not going to resubmit again. I will click done to navigate to schedule processes page. As you can see, the process ran to success. I will click done to navigate back to our implementation project. Since now we have completed task number three, now let's move on to task number four, which is upload ledger, legal entities and business units. I will navigate to this task. This time I'll choose file, then select financials common entities file and submit the process. Clicking OK takes me to scheduled processes page. I will refresh the scheduled processor. As you can see, our process just kicked off. After a good half an hour, my process ran to success. We are almost there folks. Pretty soon we will be creating journals. But before that, we need to ensure that we have necessary roles. To open your first GL accounting period, you need general accounting manager role. To create journals, you need general accountant role. Please be sure you have both of these roles. Along with roles, in order to actually work with our newly created ledger, we need to grant these roles data access. To grant data access, for these roles, I will navigate to home page, then set up and maintenance. Make sure you are in financials offering, then users and security. I will select all tasks, then I will click on manage data access for users. Then I will click on add button, select your username. I will start with general accountant role. Security context is our newly created ledger. I will duplicate this row and perform the same steps for general accounting manager role. I will save the data. With this, I have successfully granted data access to both of my GL roles. Before we can start creating transactions for our company in the general ledger, we need to open our first GL period. Let's go ahead and do that. To open our first GL period, first make sure you are in financials offering, then click on general ledger functional area. On the right side, you will see a task named open first period. There is a select scope option. I will select that. From the primary ledger option, I will select and add, apply and go to the task. Then I will go ahead and select my new ledger. Then click on save and close button. For data access set, I will select my new ledger. Again, my new ledger. I want to open my current month, which is October. I'll go ahead and select October. Now I'll go ahead and kick off the process. I will give it a few minutes for the process to complete. Then I will navigate to general accounting and select period close app. Data access set is defaulted to our newly created ledger. I will keep it. I will select the OK button. As you can see, our general ledger is now open. If I click on it, you will see all my accounting periods up to October are open. Now we are ready to create our first journal. Let's go ahead and do that. To create a journal, I will select general accounting in the application bar, then click on journals. Then I will click on task list. If you want to create a journal from scratch, you need to select the link create journal. In my case, I already created one journal. I'm going to show you that. 
in order to show you my journal i will select manage journals i will search for my journals tied to october this is the journal i created let me select it when you create you will start with journal batch one journal batch can have multiple journals if you want to add more journals you can use this plus button to add more journals in my case i just added only one journal and these are my journal lines as you can see all this chart of accounts are tied to our newly created ledger my first journal line represents a 400k investment in our new company my second journal line shows an increase in our company's bank balance based on the investment that we received you can save and post your journal as well that's it for today folks subscribe for more interesting content thank you so much for watching